Hello everybody in YouTube land. Back for another Nerd in Texoma video. Hopefully y'all are enjoying these as much as I like making them. <clears throat> Today I will be talking about a... I guess you could say a forgotten TV series. Uh, this came on... I believe it was NBC back around uh, 93, 94 ish. It was around the time that there was a bunch of different sci fi TV series that one could say were loose copies of other sci-fi TV series. <clears throat> of course, we had Star Trek going on at that time. Uh, we had Next Generation was just wrapping up or coming to an end. Uh, DS9 was on the air. We had a bunch of smaller independent uh, sci-fi series, uh, we had, like, Hercules and Xena, I know it's not really sci-fi, it's mythology, but, you know, similar stuff to that, we had Team Knight Rider around then, <clears throat> and then, like I said, we had, uh, Babylon 5, that, you know, some could argue was loosely based on DS9, or DS9 was loosely based on Babylon 5, depending on what side of the debate you're on there. <clears throat> then, NBC came out with one called Sequest DSV, which was about this giant submarine that was built by the Navy that was originally a warship, you know, for traveling the world's seas and oceans. But then, uh, basically a shift happened in how different governments worked together. There are still different countries and everything like that, but they're finding some new stuff underwater, some new resources, so different little, uh, <clears throat> like, pop-up colonies and different underwater areas came up that were kind of like small little countries and stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me, goodness gracious. So... The world came up with the idea of the United Earth Ocean Organization. They called it the UEO, which was basically a peacekeeping and scientific organization that patrolled all of the world's waterways and oceans and stuff like that. Not rivers and lakes, you know, the big, grand oceans and stuff like that that would you know keep the peace between different mining factions underwater and stuff like that so they converted this big giant uh warship submarine into a science vessel it's not completely a science vessel i mean it still has attack and defensive capabilities but they refit it <clears throat> to include a lot of scientific and exploration type equipment onto the ship. Basically, in my opinion, now this is just my head cannon, take it for what it is. To me, this could almost be a precursor to Star Trek in the sense of how things start coming together 
before we get out to explore space, we're exploring our own planet and how the different governments and different people of Earth came together to have that common goal of exploring the ocean ways. Uh, again, my personal headcanon on that, you know, take it for what it is. <clears throat> but, I recently saw that the uh, Blu-rays had been released, and they're in Walmart. Yes, I know I reference that company quite a bit here, because, well, let's face it, in the area that I live, they're quite prevalent, and that's basically where you can find just about anything if you're going out to a physical store. You know, they're the Amazon of real life, I guess you would say. <laughs> but recently I'd seen that they had the Blu-rays of all three seasons of Sequest at Walmart for about 50 bucks. And it was a show that I enjoyed back when it first came out. I've managed to pick up a few of the DVDs here and there, but I never had the entire series until now. <clears throat> I managed to find an international all-region Blu-ray release of... Sequest on eBay for less than 50 bucks. Used, of course, you know, but hey, used stuff works just as good a lot of the time as brand new. So I went ahead and bought it. Here we've got the box set of all three seasons of Sequest here. Now, granted, if you buy the US release, it's going to look different than this box set. You know, like I said, this is an international one. I'm not sure exactly which country this originally hails from, but it was released by Via Vision, Via Vision, and Universal. Universal is NBC, so it's them. Um, like I said, I don't know. Via Vision, Via Vision, I've never heard of that company. You know, being in the United States, there's a lot of companies that you never hear about that are in other countries. <clears throat> but like I said, I went ahead and ordered this and it works perfectly in my good old Blu-ray player over here in the United States. Uh... It's very cool to be able to have this series and be able to watch it. Again, it's one that's in my to-do list of different TV series and stuff that I've managed to collect the DVDs and Blu-rays of. I have, you know, of course... The uh, Hell on Wheels that I'm watching. I have the His Dark Materials to watch. I've got Babylon 5 to finish watching. Uh, a while back, about a year ago, I picked up most of the uh, CSI Miami series. You know, yeah, <laughs> I'm set on TV series to watch for a while. And that's not even counting the newer stuff that's coming out, you know, which we will just give a quick flash up on the screen because these are the unofficial releases and stuff like that. But we have, you know, those. Now, granted, these I've watched already. <laughs> but there's new episodes coming out all the time. Definitely, in my opinion, if you are a fan of Star Trek, you will most likely enjoy Sequest. Uh, you know, it's got the 
sci-fi interest there. There's a talking dolphin. That should get some folks' interest going on there. Uh, you know, yes, there's the uh, know-it-all genius teen. You know, like Next Gen's Wesley. I'm not sure exactly why that was a common theme in 90 shows, but to me, it's just another character. You know, a lot of people hated on Wesley in Next Generation. A lot of people hated on Lucas in Sequest. Why? It's a different character. It's somebody who adds to the show. Hey, different people come up with different ideas all the time. It doesn't matter if you're a teen, an adult, retired, military, whatever. Different folks have different ideas. And that is a key thing of society. <clears throat> Like I say, in my opinion, if you like Star Trek, you're probably going to like Sequest. If you see this box set, kind of, you know, the orangey like that, or the individual discs, let me see if I can get this out here. Yeah, the individual season cases will look something like these. <clears throat> and they're going to be just plain black Blu-rays like that with the Sequest logo on it. If you see these and you're interested in the show, and you're in the United States. These will work on your Blu-ray player. Like I say, if you find it, great. These imported sets might be a little cheaper than what you can find for the United States audience here. Uh, so definitely check those out. And I hope you all enjoy it. I will uh, try to figure out what the next video will be. So tune in, check it out. I'm not sure exactly what it's going to be, but I'll have another one up for y'all. Definitely, you know, check it out, see what's going on. Y'all be good. Take it easy check on each other, make sure everybody's doing all right, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.